writing Arabic last part. So here is everything that we have learned so far. We said in Arabic we have 28 letters and 22 of those letters get connected on the right side and the left side and six of those letters only get connected on the right side and don't get connected on the left. As we demonstrated uh, we have shown some of those letters and here I showed you that Arabic is written from right to left and that when we connect from the right side nothing happens to the actual shape of the letter but if you connect on the left then the shape changes a bit so you have to learn how each group of letters uh, change shape and here we learned the letter B T and th, they all have the same shape so they get connected the same once you connect on the right here nothing really happens but when you connect on the left side what happens we get rid of this tip and we just leave it open so we can connect the next letter and then uh, here we talked about alif the stick with the tilted c and tail above which is called hamza and um, it's not connected on the left side so basically it never changes shape because on the right nothing happens and on the left it doesn't get connected and after that we connected uh, alif and bih together and we made a word the word was bib which is bih and then you leave the second tip open right we didn't write that and then we went up for alif right away and then we left some space because alif doesn't get connected on the left side and then we put bih in the full form because it's the last letter and then we talked about t and th exactly the same thing happens but just the two dots move here once you connect the letter and then we wrote this word th bit which means stable and then i showed you alif b t th together and i told you about how they teach the letters in books with this uh, different forms depending on the position so you're gonna have to memorize three different shapes for each letter and that's a lot so this is the beginning this is the middle this is the end but instead what I teach you is the letter itself and how it changes once it's connected on the left side so this is a lot more simpler than books and then we learned about the seahorse shape which is gim ha and kha, it looks like so like you see there's a head hangs on the line and then the tail the tail goes away of course when you connect on the left side and we wrote the word hegeb and uh, that's it now this was a very brief and quick explanation for the letters in my course you can learn every single letter all 28 letters in just seven lessons which is literally one week Take one lesson per day and the course is done. You'll be able to write all the letters, of course, and make words, but you just have to keep practicing, practicing. If you want to get my course, then the link is in the bio.